Hi everyone. Welcome to another Tech Tips channel. Today I am going to share with you how to sending WhatsApp message from a sheet. I will use the existing workshop project to explain the WhatsApp function. If you are interested in the full workshop, you may click on the link that I shared at the top right of this video. Before we start the workshop, let me share with you how does WhatsApp work. This is the WhatsApp action we added into our detail view. Click on it; it will start the web WhatsApp on PC or the WhatsApp app on mobile. The value that we pass in from AppSheet is the recipient contact number in the text. Let's try another record. We pass in the contact number in the text. It will be nice if we want to notify someone with the Upsheets record. But you may ask, why don't we just use the Upsheets notification or email? Perhaps the one that we need to notify doesn't access to Upsheet? And the WhatsApp notification is much more instantly compared to email. All right, let's start our workshop today. Let's create the WhatsApp action in the behavior. Create a new action from the action tab. Then configure the newly added actions as this. Set the action name and the table source. Then set the do this as external. Go to a website. Lastly, the most important part. The target. Well, it looks complicated, but actually it is not. Let me simplify the expression here. Here is it, there are only a few things we need to take note of. First, we use the concatenate function to merge the text. The first text is the WhatsApp web link. Followed by the recipient's contact number. Use the encode URL function to embed the contact number. And please include the country code for the contact number. We may also using the value from our table. By just enter the column name, which storing the recipient's contact number. But take note, please include the country code and the contact number. Next, will be the content that we want to WhatsApp to the recipient. Similar to contact number, we also need to use the encode URL for the content. For the content, you may enter a fixed value or a column name that's storing the content. Let's catch up with the two parameters that require taking note. The first one is the contact number. It can be a fixed value or a column that's storing the contact number. Just make sure to include the country code. The second parameter will be the content that we want to send to the recipient. Same as contact number. It can be a fixed value or a column that's storing the content.
All right, the expression is ready. Don't forget to save the work. Next, let's set the display name and the icon for this action. For this time, I would like to display a different name according to the login user. To achieve that, I using user email function to check the current login user. If the user is logged in with Jack Liao at soulbasetechnology.com, then it will display as WhatsApp dear, else it will display as WhatsApp hubby. Next, choose a chat icon. Then set the prominence as display prominently. Okay, now it is ready. If you want to further change the icon color, go to the user interface, then format rules, add a new format rules. And then set the format rules accordingly. The workshop is completed. But today I am sharing a bonus. How can we trigger this WhatsApp action automatically after every saved record? Any idea of how to accomplish this? By bot? No, not that. Let me show you another way. First, go to the form view that you want to trigger this action. For this app, I do it in log form. Then go to the behavior section. Set the WhatsApp action in the event actions. This to enable us whenever I saved a record, it will auto trigger the WhatsApp action. Why don't we use bot? We can just create a bot which handling data changed. Like this. The reason I didn't use the bot is because it can't trigger the WhatsApp action. But there also some different between the event action and the bot. If you are interested to know more about the difference, kindly drop me a message and I will explain it in the next video. Don't forget to save the project. All right, we have complete our workshop today. See you guys in the next video. Bye.